Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are checking out a weapon from the Julius Expanse mod called the Flex Sword. As you can see, it does a lot of damage. Can bypass calamity damage caps, that's what we like to see. Let's go ahead, let's see it in action here. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out for a very particular reason, and that is when we swing it. It's gigantic, and it also plays guitar riffs. Which is also pretty good. But yeah, let's get right to it. You know, I got a lot of uh, expectations here. Anytime something passes calamity damage caps, you know, I'm already hyped to see the ending. But of course, we gotta go through the fodder at the beginning. Hold up, before I kill this guy, I have to spawn in a slime and kill it. Just so the game doesn't freeze when we kill him. There we go. I am recording this episode super late at night. Um, all good. I just can't be screaming. Because, you know, I get a little screamy in these episodes sometimes. Depends how hyped I get, I guess. And, uh, you know, we might get hyped this episode knowing how, uh, how good this weapon is supposedly gonna be. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's knock out all the pre-hard mode bosses here. Nice and easy and fast. Oh, don't want to spawn in that one. Oh, look. I'm looking for the eater, not Ek death. Boom, eater. See you later. Kind of. Got a lot of body parts to see you later. There you go. And let's go ahead. Let's peep Leapis and Akram. What's up? Wait, no. He was not supposed to be here yet. <laughs> That's my bad. Turkor is who I meant to kill. And of course, the uh, Dark Mage. And let us go ahead and do my favorite thing. And that's adding more Wall of Flesh boxes to hell. We're pretty far to the right here. So this should be a nice box to add in. Mech boss time. Let's see him. I want one nice swipe here. Ooh, perfect. That was a clean swipe. Let's go ahead. Let's head to the temple. Knock out the dingy jungle duo. Plantera and Golem, of course. Then it is time for the almighty fish run. Not so almighty when it comes to this series. And next up, let's do the Queen Slime and Empress of Light. Just kidding, not yet. But we can do the Ogre and Betsy. You know, I actually did beat the whole entire Old Ones Army recently when I did the uh, co-op series with my boy Ryan. That should be dropping on the channel soon, probably this upcoming month. The Old Ones Army, I think I said it in previous episodes of this, I don't know. But like, the Old Ones Army is legitimately fun when you do it in multiplayer. Like, it's actually worth, uh, maybe not worth farming, but it's enjoyable at least. Which, I'll be honest, a lot of Terraria events aren't exactly the most enjoyable. Some of them, like, all the enemies just hit so hard that, like, you gotta cheese them. Alright, let's go ahead, grab the pumpkin, because he likes to run away. Ever scream, Sand Tank, and Ice Queen, who we also have to grab because she also likes to run away. Something about the royalty, you know, the king and the queen, they like to run away, of course. They don't want to die or anything, because who else is going to be royal? You think they want to pass that on to their children? Hell no. Martian Saucer. And we already killed Akram, so like we don't even have to worry about him this time. Accidentally murdered him. But let's say what's up to the boys. What's up, boys? And we're just going to keep on swinging, because once that cultist spawns in, boom. Dead. Over. Gone. Got his ass. And then we got the pillars. Let's do a speed run on the pillars. Look at this. Fastest run yet? Question mark? Oh, I kind of messed up there. I kind of messed up there. That was pretty fast, but I think me messing up on that one pillar might have sold it. But yeah, I guess while we're chilling, of course, let's hit up the Dungeon Guardian. Beautiful. That's usually always a good sign when we kill the Dungeon Guardian. Hey, look at that. Apparently, we finally killed the uh, cultist 50 times. <laughs> the archer one, at least. That's nice. You know, it's funny. I'm going to talk about how I forgot the Thorium bosses. Because I forgot them, I would never forget them again. But it's funny because I forget the Eidolon Worm. <laughs> we'll do it now. And we'll stuff it into the video here. But let's see the Eidolon Worm. It's looking like a no. It's looking like an L against the Eidolon Worm with this sword. Hey, Moon Lord, what's up? Hold up, gotta get that top eye before he hides it. And got him in his core. So yeah, let us go ahead and knock out the Thorium bosses before I forget them. You know, ever since I forgot them that one episode and I had to go back and re-record, you know, it's stuck in my mind. Maybe that's like the good thing about forgetting them. Is that like it's always like stuck in the back of your mind now that you'll never forget them. Boom! But there's the dream eater. Rest in peace. Johnny Ronald the Comrade. I don't know who the hell this guy is. Alright, but yeah, let's go ahead. Let's fight, I guess. Let's fight. Let's do the mutant. Really quick, let's knock out the mutant. Oh, hold up. Do we have our first boss to not die? That's what it's looking like here. That's a little sad. I really thought the mutant was going to be uh, pretty easy to kill, but I guess not. All right, next up, we have the dog. Let's see it in action. I'm hoping dog is killable. It better be killable. Yeah, okay. Wasn't an insta-kill, but we'll take it. And second form, also not an insta-kill. 
but we'll still take it. All right, of course, we got to fight Yarin now. Let's see it in action here. You know, we're not really in insta-kill territory anymore, but we're still doing a lot of damage. There we go. Rest in peace. And next up, you already know who's next up. This fight might take a while, but, you know, still should be killable. And rest in peace. All right, so there you go. There's Supreme Cal. Let us take on the Ugandan Knuckles. We just have to. If I deem a weapon worthy, then the Ugandan Knuckles, you know, they're going to go up against it. And I deem this weapon pretty worthy. Oh, okay. It's doable, but uh, I'm going to have to swing for a little bit here. I can't get touched or I die. If I run into like a wall or something, I'm going to die. No, we're good. We're good. All right, so let us go ahead and finish off the episode with Egg Death, of course. Let's see it. I have no idea if we can beat Egg Death. Let's try our best. Okay, we might have a slight problem here. It looks like Egg Death is surviving our blows. Okay. You know, why not change it up and do an outro here? Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave more OP weapon suggestions. I believe our suggestion today was left by the developer of the mod. So shout out to them. But yeah, make sure to check out the mod and I'll see y'all in the next video.